It was dubbed the Battle of the Saints II. The second time in three days that St. Vincent would come up against a dominant St. Lucia team. The hosts were put into bat and Theo Edward took full advantage, racing to 104, comprising 15 fours and four sixes in 78 balls. Tyler Venner contributed 70 and Aaron Sinclair 38 in St. Lucia's score of 270 in 50 overs, their lowest in the tournament. St. Vincent's reply was promising until St. Lucia's leading wicket taker, Leon Alexander, checked the momentum. And Alexander gets his fourth wicket. Regular losses did not help as St. Vincent and the Grenadines folded for 110 of 28 overs through a catch fittingly taken by Theo Edward, who was thrilled to secure the title for St. Lucia. And this is the victory for St. Lucia under 15 as Theo Edward takes a lovely return catch. I'm very proud of my team and I appreciate everybody for their support towards the team. The St. Vincent coach was disappointed his batters were unable to chase what could have been a reasonable score. Um, at some points of the game we, we, we did well, I think we came back well in the first half um, after starting badly but um, our, our batting which is our real problem you know um, did not click at all for St. Lucia's coaching staff it was just rewards for hard work happy extremely happy extremely happy and the boys deserve it they, they, yeah, they worked hard throughout and they certainly deserve, deserve that, that, that victory the Ministry of Youth and Sports, which was instrumental in the team preparation, was pleased with the investment in the under-15 team. We've left no stone unturned in preparing the team. We commenced with the under-15 cricket championship. I'm not even sure that the other islands did this, but we were sure to run ours between June and July this year. We had a talent search at the secondary schools. We had camps. We invested lots of money. For Theo Edward, the tournament's leading scorer, it was historic. He scored 198 against Dominica, 101 against Grenada, and 137 against St. Vincent. And in the final, he scored 104 against St. Vincent. I didn't expect to score so much runs. Like, my goal was only to score 200 runs in the whole tournament, and I surpassed that very much. The victories were emphatic. St. Lucia winning by 298 runs against Dominica, by 403 runs against Grenada, by 201 runs against St. Vincent, and in the final, by 160 runs against St. Vincent. Lucia, pressure! Lucia, pressure! Lucia, pressure! Lucia, pressure! Lucia, pressure! Lucia, pressure! Lucia, pressure!